up literally about 30 seconds ago it was perfect it was dead winds we got out and now it's fluffing up unbelievable you can see it you can see it Man. anyway uh today we're gonna head out and try and find some whales i think is the plan um we've been pretty keen to find some whales all winter really and we've had no luck um Obviously there was a gap in the middle there where there wasn't much happening. So we're going to head out today, try and find some whales uh, before, well the idea was to get out there before the wind got up. So I just saw a spurt straight ahead. You're lying. No, I'm not even joking. See where those, those jet skis are? To the right. Whales out there. Is there really? Yeah. All right, we're going to get a look at whales now and we'll fill you in about the rest of the day later. See you, bye. See you in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Those whales that Mitchie saw when we were staying in Gurley, well, this is a bit hectic. Um, we raced out to them and it was a mama and a calf and they were going off. Now obviously we kept our distance, we didn't get close, anything like that. The drone footage, hopefully it looks all right. We'll have to zoom in on post because you've got to be certain amount of meters away. But it looked pretty cool on, the, on that little screen. But the wind's definitely picked up and that poor little drone, it's not made for these conditions. And the whole time I was flying it, I thought we'd lost it, the whole time. I ended up about a K away from the drone and I caught up with Mitchie and the thing was having a major malfunction, propeller malfunction, wind malfunction, battery malfunction, compass malfunction and I was trying to get Mitchie to grab it but he didn't know, he, he thought I was taking a picture of him so he's just wailing at the camera and we nearly lost it. So, um, but we didn't. So the footage, hopefully it looks good. Um, that was sick. That was really cool. I'm frothing. Super frothing. The, the drone that we've got is the DJI Mavic Mini. We bought it because it was like the cheapest one that shoots in 1080. 
and we weren't sure if we would actually get use out of it. Um, and we, you know, you don't want to go fork out two or three grand on something and then not use it. So we bought that to see how we go. Also being small, super good for the front of the ski. You don't need a gigantic backpack. It literally fits into your pocket. It's like the size of an iPhone. And that's the drone that we use for all of our footage. So yeah, it actually, it does all right. Just in the wind, it doesn't do all right. It struggles big time. Never searched this place before, but the water's so clear. I didn't even know it was here, to be honest. There's a lot of, there's a lot of flat coffee rock bottom, but you know, you can see some little ledges and stuff. So we're gonna try probably go for a dive when we can find like a cool looking bomby. And, um, Hopefully pick up some crayfish or you know spread over any spear gun. So the water is just super, super nice. You know? You can see like all all these little ledges and stuff along here. Probably get underneath and just poke our heads around, look for a little bit of something. But ah, oh, look at that one. And there's a crayfish under there for sure. We're gonna jump in, see what we can find. Yeah. First dive. Try to do first dive, first crayfish. First breath, first crayfish, first dive, first everything. Hey breath! That is so clear. Woohoo! Here we go. European. 